in this video we will be discussing about reserved IP addresses. So, what are the reserved IP addresses like all networks are with zeros, network addresses with ones, node addresses with zeros, node addresses with one, entire address with zeros and entire IP set of ones. So, you can see what exactly they represent and where can they be used. You see this table here, the network address of all zeros and that means what it represents, it represents this network for example, 0 dot, 0 dot, 0 dot, 120 and where can it be used for sending broadcast messages to the networks. So, this is used to send broadcast messages to the network. So, coming to network addresses of all ones. So, what it represents? It represents all networks available in the uh, internet working. So, you can see for sending broadcast messages to all the networks. So, coming to node address of all zeros. So, what it represents? It represents a network address or all hosts in the network. Example, you can take here 10.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0 or 172.16.0.0. So, where it can be used? It can be used in the routers to route traffic based on network addresses. So, coming to node addresses of all ones, what it represents? It represents all hosts in a network also called as broadcast addresses. It can be of 172.16.255.255 or 192.168.10.255 and it is used to send broadcast to all hosts in a network. That means, it will send the broadcast to all the hosts in a network here. So, entire address of zeros, this represents it can be of any network and also it can be used by routers to designated routes or a default route here. Entire IP set to all ones, it represents all hosts in a network and also used to send broadcast messages to all the networks in the internet network. So, coming to the last one 127.0.0.1. So, what it represents? It represents the loopback address, there, there is a loopback addresses assigned to the devices so that loops will not occur in the network. So, we will be discussing about this loops in the next videos, so that we can get the information about what exactly a loopback addresses are and also what is the essentiality of the host it is occurring. And also you can see to send traffic from the host to itself or if you want to configure or connect to a web server, you can see which is running on a host itself, these addresses are used by the browsers to access those web servers. And mainly it is important to remember that if all the host bits in an address are set to 0, then it is called a network address. So, it is, you, can take an, you can take an example here. So, if all the host bits in an address are given zeros, then it is called as a network address. So, these are the re reserved IP addresses and what exactly the IP IPs are representing and where or how these can be used in the network.